All right, in this video, we're going to replace the starter in a Nissan Versa. First thing we're gonna do is disconnect the battery terminal. So when you go to remove this tank, you pull this tab, and you just pull it straight up. Well, I thought I was gonna have to go underneath, but it looks like I should be able to get both bolts from the top, because one's right there, one's up top. Now we're gonna remove the two electricals. There's the one boot right there. Since there's no room down there, the battery terminals are, seems to be a half inch. Make sure you're battery post is disconnected. I disconnected the negative. I don't got that one loose enough to yank her off. Okay, that one's off. We've got one more to remove. It looks like it's probably like a number eight maybe. A little tiny one. A little tiny one's a number eight. I'll get down there just so that you can see the two connections. Our bolts are number 18 mil. Not a lot of room. But I broke it free. And I can spin it out with my hand. So we're going to remove the bottom one down there. And then we're going to pull the starter out. There's not a lot of room up top. But let me get a better light on this. But I went from the bottom with a longer ratchet to bust the bottom starter bolt free. Now that it's free, I could probably go up top and take it up by hand. And that's it, right down there. Yep, yeah. come on. There we go. I left that top one in, but loose, because just in case the starter wanted to drop out, So now I'm just going to take it out and hopefully I did pull this electrical connection off to give it some more clearance and now I'm going to lift her out of there. Well I got both starters down on the ground there. It's kind of a tight fit to get her through there. Get the new one dropped down. Now the fun part is is twist her and get her back into place. It definitely went in easier than it was taking it out, that's for sure. Up the bottom bolt, it's nice to have a swivel ratchet head like that. That way you don't have to remove that skirt. I just gotta do this top one. And then we are just doing up this top wire. When you're doing up the electrical, you want to be gentle. You don't want to go too crazy. Because you may snap the terminal off the back of the solenoid and then you're going to be up shit creek. Main starter's back on. Got to find that. This electrical sensor, I believe that's like an oil pressure sensor. Plug that back in. Also, when you're putting the tank back in, you want to make sure that tab on the bottom is in before you slide her in. That's it, we're done. Before we finish this project, we want to make sure the tank's in properly. I'll put the oil dipstick back in. I removed the electrical connector, I believe, off the oil pressure sender. Put that back on, air intake's back in connected, and negative battery post is on. Two clips in the front, that's it. Another job well done.